Good morning, guys. What's going on? All right, so let's jump right into it. We're going to trade LK. First things first, this morning we started off at... We started this morning off at... Uh, let's see where we were at this morning. Just this morning we were at... <laughs> it's crazy because we started this morning off at like up here. LK was was pre-market way up here. Um, we started out at like this, this morning, 6.62, and now we're all the way down, okay? I sold pre-market, and I bought back in. So we were at five, we were at, we were at six, we were like 5.70 or 5.80, and I sold pre-market, and then I rebought back in. I just rebought back in. Um, all right, and we got eight minutes to the open. So one thing I know, something that changed overnight is that Luckin no longer is on the delisting list. Now, I don't know why or what happened, but there's no news about it. But it's not on the delisting list. All right, so I'm going to show you. And this is one of those reasons why. I told you guys in my last video, here's a really good tool for you to sign up to. So sometimes these other investors, they post things that are really great, really good for you to to, to do research. But yeah, I was trying to figure out um, what was making the stock move so much. And uh, or was it? It was a delisting, delisting, where did he put it? Where did I see it? So if this isn't on the D list list no more, then what would be what would be the uh, the main fears? Okay, so let's go here. Now, this is the listing center for Nasdaq. All right, so we go through this whole thing right here. This is Nasdaq dot com. All right. And we're going to say, okay, so issues remain. So any issues that they were having, and you scroll down, you don't see Luckin under L. All right, so that's going off of the D-list list. list. So we don't see it, which means that there's something, you know, something going on. It's not on the list no more, guys. So... Well, there you go. So if we go to the scene, go type in luck. Luck and coffee. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> okay, so. See what we have here. Five fifteen. That was a while ago. All right. So that was the last time we had an issue. All right. So where we are now, we're opening in a few minutes. It's okay because now that it's not going to be delisted, to me, there's nothing to fear. On my end, I don't have nothing to be afraid of. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to worry about it anymore because she's not going to be delisted. So this is one of my biggest positions in my account. And there's a lot of, we call it FOMO, but there's a lot of people who's, a, who's afraid of what could happen. This thing can really move. I just want you to see this. Also, this is where we want to go, okay? So we want to see these type of numbers. And you have to have the ability to hold your position. And I'm just going to hold it. So I'm, I mean, 
that to here is a 74% return. So that's just where I'm at with it. Um, but yeah, there's no there's no listing issue anymore. So at this point, the news of the chairman being involved in those things, that's what's bringing the price down. And that's fine because for everyone else who understands what's going on, things are going to be just fine. So we'll see what happens next. From here. All right. Scoop it up, baby. Kramer buying. So Kramer, you know, Kramer, he's always saying, he's always saying what to buy and what not to buy. And whenever he says to buy something, a lot of people get afraid because we pretty much know that's the opposite of what you should do. In this case, though, know, it's actually the right thing to do, but... I'm just laughing because this thing is pretty funny. All right, so. All right. Let's see, so basically. You have a chance to figure it out. <laughs> so we got panic traders and um you can see the panic the panic to steal we went all the way down to 488 which was a really good entry and a lot of this main trading is happening in the pre-market which is the most incredible the most incredible that it's happening in pre-market So we're gonna get a couple minutes of the uh, of the opening bill and see what happens. See what happens to this price, guys. So we're back up to five fifteen. We're down six percent pre market. We were up six percent pre market. Now we're down six percent pre market. Oh, that's cool. Let's see what happens now. Shooting back up as 6.30 arrives. And, yeah, I would buy more, but I'm okay. I think I got a decent amount. I like my 300 shares. Okay, so we're going to let that do what it do. 5.51. You see how volatile she is? Super volatile really big volatility on another note we got um i was looking at this i was thinking and just wait for that to pull back definitely want to get some nio this did she shoot up yet not really i'm gonna wait i didn't do much at all you what are you doing uh i still wanted to sell this what happened All right, I wanted to get out of this trade. I could see what's going on here. Man, let's do that. Let's get out of this trade. 
That's a good trade. I made this trade a couple of days ago. Now I'm getting out of it. The volume must be really low for this not to sell. So because this isn't um, in the listing anymore. So, I mean, I jumped out. And I was coming down a little bit, but like I said, I turned my stop loss off. This is pretty much at any point in time when this goes any lower. I'll just load up more because this is going to fly at some point. So we'll see what's going to happen. All right. On another note, we got... Uh, yeah, we got plenty to work with for now. Oh, I assume that it, it got out of that trade. Yeah, we got out of that. And this is the one I'm most concerned about, but we're going to leave her be. Ugh. Sold. And this is called a panic sale. Okay, so let's see what's going on. <laughs> These guys are just hilarious. All right, so what we got here? I really do want to grab another 25 at least of these. So we can get another 25 of these. There it is. I wonder when you're going to buy them. <laughs> and I actually wanted to get more than that, though. <clears throat> I foresee this stock right here going up to like $50 a share. I mean, judging from the market cap, it's only a $4 billion. To me, it's got a long way to go. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab another 50, at least 100 shares. I at least want to own 100 shares of this. Just want to own 100 shares of this. And I'm going to be happy once I get my 100 shares. I'm going to slowly accumulate more of them. As you look at the uh, Chinese EV market, it's huge. And there's only $4 billion here in market cap. If we even go look at Tesla and say, okay, Tesla could do so much. I mean, I mean, I know this can't necessarily catch up to Tesla, but when you go look at how many billion Tesla got, 171 billion. Now, if when NIO can get to 50 billion, this is this is my, I'm just saying 50 billion. Uh, that's gonna be 
where we are now it's four billion just say times ten okay so times ten is fifty billion I'm just gonna round it up a little so then you times this price by ten it's the same thing so what's times ten that's fifty seven dollars a share so I'm saying three hundred shares of this would be awesome at least at least five hundred to a thousand shares of this and then it goes up to five five fifty ten craziness it's craziness I would definitely love that so at some point that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do I'm going to build up a huge position in that and what I'm going to start doing because I had a lot of time to think about it is we're going to we're going to clear out but I'm going to talk about that in a minute as a matter of fact we're going to let this stop so we're here now with these 450 okay see where we're gonna go from here but she's not gonna be delisted we know that much so I could average down yeah I could average down I'll just average down it's a nice average down I'll average down So we're gonna average down, grab another, so many because I believe in this company too. We got our monsters there. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm gonna Oh, there's a lot of traffic. Gotcha. Some things are just not gonna work today. All right, well, we're going we're gonna to come back because there's too much going on. We'll, we'll update you later.